Excellent. Um, so let's um, let's talk about the team. My favourite bit, and uh, <laughs> possibly yours. Um, so I think what we'd like to hear about is uh, you know the team that you've assembled, the the size of the team, uh, the growth of that team, where it's expected to go, and and the, and the skill set, of course, and experience. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, so. Well, myself and a number of the team, we come from a data center and service provider background, including yourself as well. <laughs> um, so, you know, that is experience in building large, scalable network solutions, cloud solutions. Um, we've built infrastructure platforms that house millions of users a day um, and large backbone capacity as well. So that was really key. We need the experience of people that have done this before, maybe in a different way. We've done it from an infrastructure point of view rather than a, a software point of view. Um, but we also built our own um, software orchestration and management platforms as well. So we're kind of reusing a lot of that um, knowledge. Uh, and um, from kind of a, we on the CTO side, uh, again, comes from a service provider background, data center provider background, um, and has knowledge on how to scale um, huge infrastructure platforms. And then we've got uh, some of the uh, developers, so two of the development team, key uh, ones in the development team, they uh, on the architect side, they come from a big data background, um, analyzing huge amounts of network data, um, information, scalable information. So it's key that everyone in the team's got, you know, either an infrastructure background, um, a blockchain background, or a scale scaling background, really. Um, and then we have data scientists uh, who work on a lot of the uh, economics side of things. Um, you know, how we scale, how we capture data, what we do with that data, um, so that we can uh, scale efficiently on the platform. Um, and we have a management team, and the management team have experience in fintech, um, scale up businesses as well. So they've done through scale up, uh, scaled SaaS companies as well, which is really important. Um, and really, it's a team that is that knows how to build things and knows how to uh, scale things. So there's 26 of us full time at the moment, okay. um, kind of split across those those different areas. Um, most of them based in the UK, but you know, as a decentralized yeah. business, um, we now really focused on getting kind of the best people that we can around the world into the team. Okay. So, so how how do you see the the team scaling over the kind of next three to six months? Um, so we are we're actually recruiting at the moment mm -hmm. um, to skill up on that team. Uh, we want to get more cryptography skills in place, um, more on the compute side of things as well, so we can scale from the cloud perspective. So probably uh, over the next three to six months, kind of another 10 to 15 to join the team. Um, focus specifically on those areas. Okay. And I've seen that there's a really impressive board of advisors. Now, we'll, we'll come on to the names uh, in a moment, but... What was the what was the strategy be, behind bringing on those advisors? Because they're you know they're impressive. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's really important to us is that they're not name not advisors because yeah. it's easy just to take name advisors, put them on a project, um, but they don't benefit anything. Um, and, and essentially, you know, they're they're just giving cost to the ba uh, to the project. Um, so you know, we looked for some of the best in the fields that were most relevant mm -hmm. to our project and what we're doing. Um, so this was uh, advisors from the technology space, you know, from, from blockchain um, or scalable blockchain. Uh, market experience, so our different verticals are gaming, data center providers, mining providers, um, and business experience, so experience in being able to scale businesses quickly and globally, uh, and you know, kind of getting us through that growth phase as more and more people come into the team. Um, and yeah, I think it, it's the, I think it shows the quality of the project, you know, and what we're building that these advisors came on board because they wouldn't put their name to it otherwise. Fantastic. And I think this is a great time. But give us some examples of, of names and, you know, where they used to be or where they are now. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you take, uh, let's take the gaming space, for example. Um, so we have Chris Deering on board, who is the ex-CEO of Sony Entertainment. Essentially, uh, well, is known if you look on Wikipedia as the father of PlayStation. So he was what brought PlayStation One and Two to the market. Um, and gaming, you know, we you'll be seeing things coming out about us working on consoles in the future, <laughs> to give you an idea. Um, and we're working with him and other big gaming platforms um, because games machines have high-end CPU, GPU, same with consoles. 
uh, and, and its huge amounts of global infrastructure that, that, that is already sitting there. Um, also, we're working with things like uh, Craig Fletcher, who used to run Multiplay, which was kind of the UK's largest gaming mm. platform, um, so that we can get adoption and get it right for those audiences. If you go on the blockchain side, um, we've got people like uh, Jörg Roskowitz, who uh, he is the uh, director for blockchain for AMD. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and we work very closely with AMD, both on the blockchain side and on, and on the hardware encryption side. You know, that's really key because we think you know, AMD as a technology is probably the best technology that's mm -hmm. out there. Um, that's able to do some of these things that we're bringing to market. You've then got people like Sean Lee, uh, who ran, um, well, actually runs Fortmatic, uh, which you'll see kind of, if you have a Ethereum wallet or dress, you know, it's kind of a more modern version of MetaMask, okay. uh, has huge experience, um, comes from a Docker background as well. So he sold his last business to Docker. So we've got a lot of technology experience, a blockchain experience there. Um, and then we've got other people on the team like uh, Maggie Fang, who, you know, she was one of the first uh, or one of the early major investors in Alibaba um, and Uber. And if you take what we've built, it's essentially a cross between those two where we're yeah. connecting a global computing platform between suppliers and consumers. Um, and then others like Malcolm Tuck, who, uh, you know, used to be the MD for um, antivirus companies and is now the MD for uh, uh, ESET, which is the fourth largest antivirus company in the world, um, you know, which, which we work with on the security side of things, which is obviously key. And, and, and I know how active these advisors are, right? so I, I deal with them on a daily basis if I take my interviewer hat off uh, for the moment. And <clears throat> I have to say, you know, uh, particularly with Chris Deering uh, at the beginning, is uh, he, you said he was the father of the PlayStation. Um, he was uh, one of the driving influences behind PlayStation having running folding at home and setting at yeah. home. Um, True. You know, kind of, 2008, 2009, around that time. Um, so, so he was a big advocate, and I know that because we, we met him in suits and ties, and then we, <laughs> we traveled across London to his favorite ska band in, in Camden, uh, under bridge, and we had a great night. And you know, I have to say that he was on, on board you know, straight away, and, um, and a very active member of the team, as are all the advisors. So yeah, yeah really, really impressed at what's been built uh, yeah. on that side. Um, okay, well, in the next video, let's, let's talk about some of the partnerships. Okay. Um, it's, it's good to, to let everyone know about the traction that we've built yeah, and the areas that we're focusing on and expand on kind of what we just talked about. Okay, great.